Big Sarah's Little Boots by Paulette Bourgeois and Brenda Clark. Sarah loved her boots. They were as shiny as a wet slicker and as yellow as a bathtub duck. When Sarah jumped into puddles, her boots went squish and the water went kersplat. One day, Sarah tried to put on her boots. She pulled them and she tugged them. She scrunched her toes into tight little balls. She pushed her heels with all her might. But Sarah's boots did not fit Sarah's feet. She took off her socks, but even bare, Sarah's feet did not fit into Sarah's boots. Oh no, Sarah cried. My boots have shrunk. Sarah tried to make her boots bigger. She stretched the bottoms and she stretched the tops. She stretched until she could stretch no more, but nothing happened. Then she called her little brother Matthew. They tied one end of the boots to Matthew's horse and the other end to Sarah's bike. They pulled until the ropes got tight, but nothing happened. Sarah gave the boots to the dog. He growled and tugged and she growled and tugged, but nothing happened. Sarah tried to blow them up like a balloon. She took a big breath and puffed her cheeks and blew, but nothing happened. She filled her boots with a truckload of rocks. The boots got heavy. They didn't get bigger. Sarah planted her boots in the garden where the sun was warm and bright. She watered them and she waited, but the boots did not grow. Sarah was very sad. Her boots did not fit her feet. Her feet did not fit her boots. Sarah loved her boots. Mom, said Sarah, my boots have shrunk. I wonder, said Sarah's mother, maybe you grew. No, said Sarah, my boots have shrunk. Well, let's see, said mother. Sarah was measured. Your boots didn't shrink. You grew all over, said Sarah's mother. You need new boots. I don't want new boots, said Sarah. Sarah and her mother went to the store anyway. There were lots of boots, rainbow boots, red boots, purple boots, plaid boots, buckled boots, and zippered boots. The salesman showed Sarah yellow boots with a fire engine red stripe around the toes and a fire engine red stripe around the tops. These are lovely, said the salesman. I don't want new boots, said Sarah. They bought the shiny yellow boots with the fire engine red stripes. The next time it rained, Sarah put on her new boots. They weren't as shiny or as yellow as her old boots. When Sarah jumped into puddles, the water went splash, but that was all. After a while, Sarah's mother asked if Matthew could wear the old boots. Matthew looked so excited that Sarah said, all right. When Matthew put on the old boots, he said, these are so shiny. They're as yellow as my bathtub duck. When Matthew jumped into a puddle, the boots went squish and the water went kersplat. I hope they don't shrink, said Matthew. Don't be silly, said Sarah. Boots don't shrink. Feet grow. Matthew and Sarah went splashing in the puddles. Suddenly, it didn't matter that Sarah's new boots went splash and the old boots went squish. Sarah had grown so big that she could jump over the puddles. And when Sarah jumped, the yellow boots with the red stripes went whoosh. It was a big sound for a big girl, and Sarah was very happy. The end. From my heart to yours, you are loved today and always.